Hey, what's up guys? So with the fourth quarter coming, uh, just about any and every product type is gonna see increased demand across the board. That means if we have not challenged ourselves to maybe sell an all over print product, right? That's a nice viable way of standing out from the normal print on demand products that we're used to seeing. And there's nothing wrong with the normal print on demand products. Like that's the, the base of my recurring monthly income. But in this video, I want to sell some out of the box products like the ones you see behind me here. Um, we got an all over print backpack, a hoodie, a headband, a mouse pad, a gamer mouse pad, which I actually really like that. I use, I could show you, I could lift my mouse pad up, but I have one of those like really big ones because it's actually really nice. Anybody who's a gamer, um, you know, you typically use really low mouse sensitivity, so you need a bigger mouse pad. Anyways, in this video, we're doing some niche research, coming up with a design idea, hiring Penji, okay, a professional design team to execute the design for us, and then uploading them and creating the products. So that's what I'm going to show you. Let's get right to it. Real quick reminder, I have some free resources for you all linked in the description. I've got my free print on demand giveaway. I've got my free print on demand eight day mini course delivered via email, and I've got a great print on demand Facebook group. So I hope you check all those out. All right. So I was inspired when I went to Printful. Uh, by the way, when you create new products in Printful, the default view is new products. So it, like right away, it's giving me all these great ideas. And as you saw in the thumbnail, I was really liking the idea of that big gaming mouse pad. We know Christmas, everybody's getting gifts for each other. I think the last two years in a row, I got a mouse pad for Christmas. Like I requested one because uh, it's always nice to just refresh it. If you're like me, I'm always at my computer. I eat my meals, not not dinner, but I eat like, you know, breakfast, lunch at the computer, stuff like that. So they get dirty. Uh, so a hey, mouse pads. I'm like, if I would get one, maybe other people will get one. Seems like a good gift. And I typed gamer gift into Google trends and just looked at the last five years. And I noticed that this trend overall is growing, or at least it appears to be growing to me, especially the big peaks that occur around Christmas. So I'm all about it. So then I do what I do. You know, if you caught my video yesterday, I'll head on over to the big e-commerce websites like Amazon, type in the primary keywords, do a quick scroll, just getting some ideas. I'll do the same over at Etsy as well. Uh, Etsy is another great marketplace to data mine for ideas. You don't need to have some paid tool, not that they don't help, but you don't have to have them. You know, you can just go and do it, you know, roll up your sleeves and do it the old fashioned way. I can even go over to Redbubble and also see what designs, what design styles are trending over there. All right. Ultimately, I decided you know, I, I, at a minimum, I, I'm using this as my inspiration. I've got the Printful, like all over print, large gaming mouse pad. That's the inspiration. Uh, there's also some cool products. They had the um, like AirPod, like Apple AirPod. Uh, that's what they're called, right? I don't use Apple products, but <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an Apple hater, a uh, habitual one. Uh, but anyways, yeah, they have the, the AirPod cases that you can customize, uh, all over print backpacks, headbands. I'm thinking along the lines of like, maybe we can market all of these to like the same um the same what is it like demographic like almost like the gamer like a young gamer uh is the the target audience right so they may have some of the same like kind of demographic characteristics they they would be a com computer gamer uh they maybe have some airpods that they listen to when they're going to school they got the backpack and you know hey some of them have long hair right <laughs> not to stereotype but i i mean hey i'm a gamer myself so i should be allowed to speak to what i've seen over the years and a lot of them do have long hair for for whatever reason and that's okay uh, so maybe the gamer headband, keep your hair out of your face while you're gaming. I like it. Now we have kind of a niche uh, and my design idea, of course, the hoodie. Oh man, I almost forgot the gamers and their hoodies, of course. Got to have that. All right, we're good. All I think they're all all over print. Actually, one of the products ends up not being all over print, but I'll show you that when we get there. So I am again going to reach out to Penji. The thing is, when you join Penji, you actually can put in as many requests, design requests as you want. So it would be benefit you to use it um, pretty much regularly, right? Typically they're turned around in 24 hours or less. Uh, I have another video that I did with Penji. I'll link to it in the description where you can see the exact steps for creating a request, but it takes minutes. You know what I mean? It's taking less than five minutes to create a request. If it takes longer to create a request than it would for you to create the design, something there would be a problem. So obviously they made it very quick, very easy, simple to create the design requests. I created two with two different design ideas. The first design idea I came up with was thinking along the lines of like retro 
gaming, all right? And I guess, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, computer gamers probably don't care that much about old school Nintendo, but this is why I reserve the right to come up with multiple design ideas. And what's cool is uh, Penji actually delivered a couple different variations of this design. So I'll show you the outcome in just a second. <clears throat> also, I was thinking like, hey, board games, right? A lot of people who play computer games or console games also play board games. The 20 sided dice uh, sells like all the time really well. Uh, I don't know how many board games use 20 sided dice, but I know there's at least one that's really popular. So anything 20 sided dice, uh, I feel like has the potential to make sales. Just be really careful with keywords. Obviously you don't wanna infringe on any intellectual property. All right, so the designs that I found in my Penji delivery box uh, shortly after creating the, the design requests Looked like this. So this is the first one here. <clears throat> We've got the uh, 20 sided dice. And I mean, I'm, I'm really liking it. They delivered two different versions. One that's kind of light foreground, the other a dark foreground. So that's, I mean, this is the one that if I had to pick is going to make the most sales. Um, we just know that there's a lot of demand here. And here we have the second delivery. They actually uh, broke it down and did three different kind of gaming style controllers. And they're really minimalist. They don't have any branding or anything like that on them. But obviously, if you're a gamer, um, you will recognize like, oh, yeah, these look like video game controllers. And I guess depending on like your age, um, what decade you were born, <laughs> you probably would want a different um, one of these three designs since they kind of look to me like they are speaking to different uh, age groups. All right, so let's jump on over to Printful. Let me show you how I utilized these designs to create products. So I'm here in Printful. I did a search for mouse pad and I realized they actually have like a, a square mouse pad uh, that's 18 by 16 inches. And then they have the gaming mouse pad, which is 36 by 18 inches. And I went ahead and I selected the gaming mouse pad. Now, when you go to design and you add your uh, designs, what you can do, number one, like, I mean, my design here is actually big enough that it fills the whole um, space, but I would recommend actually, like I chose the light foreground design. So I'm gonna go to background fill, then I'm gonna click, you know, black, you know, but if I wanted to, I could go red. I could do whatever uh, I see fit, you know, whatever I think looks good. Um, you know, you have flexibility here, but I typically like to keep it simple with the black mouse pads. I think that's probably what's gonna be most popular. Also, just so you know, with this design, like we paid for a professional designer to make a tileable uh, repeating pattern design. So I can make this smaller, okay? And then I can click where it says pattern and I can click block and then look, it just duplicates it. And because the graphic designer is a professional and they know what they're doing, it looks beautiful here with a tiled, um, you know, mouse pad design. And then you can click mock-up view and actually see what the final outcome is going to end up looking like. So you've got mock-ups here. You can use these in like an Etsy shop. I mean, do you guys see these mock-ups here behind me? These look really good. Um, this would look great as like a primary thumbnail for Etsy. Um, you know, with Amazon, you need the white background. So definitely with Amazon, you're a little limited, but that's okay. Um, this would be the gaming mouse pad. I think gamers typically recognize the like really wide, like my, my mouse pad right now is literally like my hands like outside the screen trying to show you, but it's like very wide. It's probably 36 inches as well. Um, but this is what we're aiming for guys. I mean, this is it. And Printful's got some great mockups in here for the mouse pad specifically. So unfortunately my vision for the AirPods is not gonna come true. Uh, by the way, they have a really uh, nice base price. They're only $10 for Printful to fulfill these. So this is something that you should consider just adding a couple to your shops for the fourth quarter, see what happens, especially if you have some best-selling designs, but all over print designs are not optimized for the AirPods, unfortunately. The backpacks I think have big potential. Um, what kid doesn't need a new backpack pretty much all the time too? I always had a beat up backpack. I probably need one right now as an adult too. Uh, I have the same backpack that I always travel with and it's it's seen better days. Uh, so I added the pattern, but you'll notice a white pattern on the white background does not show. So I'm gonna click background fill in Printful. And then, you know, whatever color we think is gonna look best, we can go ahead and do that. Also, again, you can make the pattern a little bit smaller. I don't know how small I wanna make it. I still want the controller and the, you know, the actual design to be able to be seen. Um, we can go ahead and uh, have it pattern again, like I just showed you earlier with the mouse pad. Uh, and then, you know, kind of take liberty with how you want to adjust this. You can add the pattern to the top panel, the bottom panel, and the inside pocket, but you don't have to. I mean, the main one I would focus on is the front and pocket, because that's the main part that people are gonna see. Then you can go ahead and click uh, mock-up view and just give it a second and then boom, Printful's already out here creating beautiful mock-ups of our new all over print uh, gamer backpack. All right, and let's check out the headband now. So with the headband, I'd be more willing to uh, potentially like make the pattern uh, small, you know, by just zooming, uh, pinching it down. 
and then again just using the pattern functionality in Printful uh, I think it'll show a little bit better with the headband as opposed to the backpack you know because again we're always controlling to make that primary thumbnail as good as possible so I think this will look great um, and again you can always check the mock-up view as well it'll generate these mock-ups and give us you know plenty to work with in terms of like I mean, you know, I always think Etsy where we can customize the thumbnails. Now, Printful's all over print hoodies are pricey, but not that many people do all over print and not that many people do it well. But I do have to just warn you that it is going to be tough to book a profit when you are doing uh, all over print in Printful specifically. Uh, just because, you know, this, I think this had a base cost of like $42 maybe. Um, so again, doing the same thing, adding the pattern, uh, having it tile for us. You're going to want to add it to the back as well. The right sleeve the less left sleeve pocket hood you don't necessarily need to do it in the inside label but understand that all those can be customized as well um if you skip it then you know i'll show you what it actually is going to look like here in a second with the mock-up view uh, unlike the backpack though yeah it's definitely going to be more important to um, add the pattern multiple times to each uh, panel of the hoodie here in printful but guys that was a bunch of good all over print products short video but I hopefully you feel comfortable that I gave you the steps. Uh, the big thing is to separate yourself. You're going to have to bridge the gap between designs that everybody knows how to make and the pattern designs, right? That's why I hired Penji to create these pattern designs for me. And again, when you work with Penji, you're getting unlimited design requests. So again, you're going to benefit if you use them. And right now, as we are one month away from the fourth quarter sales rush beginning, it's probably the best time to consider hiring a professional designer. Uh, I did the previous video as well where we did a Halloween design, like matching designs for a human and their uh, pet dog. I'll link to that in the description, so check that out, guys. But thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, in the comment section below, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.